So like I said before, all you need uh, for any of these projects is paper. And this is just regular eight and a half by 11 paper. And we're gonna use this to make our hair. Um, you're kind of looking at it upside down, but I think you'll be able to figure it out. It shouldn't matter. Um, the first thing we wanna do is take our paper lengthwise, fold it over and make a crease. As they say, make a taco. Oh, I like a taco. But then we'll open it back up after we've made a crease down our center and we're gonna fold this corner to that center crease and we'll fold this corner to that center crease. And then this is very important. We're gonna fold all of this back this direction and we want the tip to be about a half of an inch from the end of the paper. That's very important. You wanna leave a little bit there, okay? So, just like that. Then we're gonna take this corner and fold it over again to the center crease. Take this corner, fold it again. Oops, be careful, you want nice even folds. Okay, now we've got this little triangle right here. We wanna fold that back over like so. All right, now turn it over, fold the whole thing in half. So you can see one half of that little triangle we folded over here, one half there. This is our main airplane structure. Now we wanna fold the wings down. And what I like to do is fold each side even with the bottom of the fuselage. So the main body of the airplane, of an airplane is called the fuselage. So folding the wings down to meet that bottom of the fuselage. So we end up with something like this. And then we have a Harrier. Okay, great. Okay, so now we're gonna do the bulldog dart. And we start out just like with the Harrier with an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And just like the Harrier, we're gonna fold it over lengthwise and make a crease down the center. And this will be a measurement for us to use to make the rest of the folds. So the first thing we wanna do is just like the Harrier, we fold one corner to the center line. We fold the opposite corner to the center line. Then we turn this piece of paper over, okay? Now, we take this edge, line it up with the center line, make a crease on that end, right? And then we're gonna do the same with the other side because airplanes typically are symmetrical. Symmetrical means that if you draw a line down the middle of something, uh, it's, it's equal, it's the same on either side. So we've got the exact same set of folds on either side of our center line. Okay, now, this is very important. We wanna take the nose cone here of the airplane. We're gonna fold that back till it meets this point where those two, these two uh, folds meet. And then we make a crease at the tip. Okay, so it should look like that. All right, now we fold the bulldog dart in half. Make sure we've got a good crease there. And you can start to see, it's got this flat nose cone on the airplane, kind of like a bulldog. They have those flat faces. So that's why it's called the bulldog dart. Now we need to fold our wings down so that it'll fly. And so we're gonna make a crease from this corner right here that goes all the way to the back of our plane. Like so, and then we'll flip it over and do the same on the other side. Make sure they're nice and even. And you know, your folds can be a little bit different. No, uh, depending on how you fold your wings, your uh, bulldog dart is gonna fly a little differently, but that's what you end up with. So we've got the Harrier and the bulldog dart. See, they both have very different wings. This one's longer and skinnier. The Harrier has uh, a little bit wider wings. It has a pointier nose cone. 
the Bulldog Dart has the flatter nose cone. So we're gonna see what those differences in these airplane designs, uh, how that affects their flight characteristics, okay? And that's something we ask you in the follow-up questions on the Take and Make Blue. Okay, great, so let's go fly these airplanes. Hmm. Questionable flight conditions today. It's a little breezy off and on. It looks like there's a storm moving in over there. If we were real pilots, uh, we might keep our planes on the ground today. But uh, I play a pilot only on YouTube. So uh, we're gonna fly, okay? Let's get to it. Goose, Goose, this is Maverick. Are we cleared for takeoff? Yeah, Mavericks, Goose, totally, totally cleared. Ready? Flight one, the Harrier. Oh, nice. Flight two, the Bulldog Dart. Hmm, wah, wah. Okay, so I told you guys that the Harrier was my favorite, and you can see why. That one really flew far. Now, it kind of had a curvy flight path, but it stayed aloft, probably because it has wider wings. So it has more uh, lift to carry it through the air. The Bulldog Dart has narrower wings. It flew straighter than the Harrier, probably because of its long skinny design. I'm no aeronautical engineer, but I think that's right. So it depends on what you're looking for in an airplane. And if we made some adjustments, to the Bulldog Dart, we might get it to fly a little further, maybe even straighter. There's all kinds of things you can do. So play around with your paper airplanes and see what happens.